Hi guys, good morning. So it is Sunday and I was actually supposed to leave today at 4 but I'm moving to the Nomo Soho just until Tuesday. I wanted to see two of my girlfriends tomorrow but it's actually going to be raining and so I decided to just stay near Soho and stay like in the local areas over there um, just to kind of get a feel for it. I'm going to be at Nomo Soho and just hang out. Um, I want to take some photos over there because I only... Did I even take photos in Soho? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think I took any over there. No, I didn't. We went to Soho. I, oh, I took it close to like, um, I actually wore this outfit. I mean, not this outfit, but like different pants. So yeah, I just want to take some photos over there. I don't know what else we're going to do. I think we're just going to go to, to like brunch. And I literally don't know, but anyway, I'm gonna start packing right now because checkout is at noon And I actually have to be at the other hotel. I think so I supposed to be there at 11 or something like I really don't know But I'm gonna start packing because I need to go to the bank as well to go get some cash I'm gonna be near like lower Manhattan I think I believe it's lower Manhattan So it's near Chinatown and some of you guys sent me some recommendations for places to go there. So um, I really want to check it out i mean obviously everything doesn't have to be done like this week but i could also do it the next time i'm here um oh i forgot to set my face i use way too much setting spray for me to like have purchased this little one i don't know why i just didn't feel like buying the big one i i got it like two i got it like how many days ago literally how many days ago like four i think did i get it on the first day i got here no the second look at it <laughs> that's like one like one week, two week. Oh, actually, it's not bad if it lasts me like a month, I guess. A little less than a month, probably. So yeah, that's the plan. I'm gonna clean up. you guys understand like how much shit i actually have in here like it is insane it's bursting at the seams literally i had to open the part that makes it a little bit more wide but i feel like i'm flying back on united i flew here in alaska and i'm flying back on united and they're both premium not first class but just extra leg room but i'm just hoping that they don't say anything to me because it's so heavy like i could get it up in the overhead compartment which is fine but it's literally so heavy so anyway i'm not like i said i'm not leaving until tuesday but like my whole carry-on is packed to the brim because i also have like my shoes in there my little heels i shouldn't have even brought the black ones because i didn't even need them really i just wore white mostly and then uh just my water to bring to the next hotel because more than likely they probably won't have like water water bottles there this is my key and then my coat that I actually brought here because I thought it was going to be rainy and it wasn't. So I have to take that back. Probably just going to hold it in my lap on the flight. But it's only 10.30. So uh, I'm just going to head to the bank really quick and get some cash so I can leave for the housekeeper as well. And then I'll be back in time for checkout and everything. And then I'll do that and then go to the next hotel. So I don't know why I feel like kind of nervous. <laughs> I don't know. I might leave early. I might not. I really don't know. I don't know. I'm just hoping that everything goes well. And I'm flying out of EWR, so pretty close to Soho. But yeah, I'm going to go downstairs and go to the bank and I will be back. As soon as I got to my hotel, they actually said that the systems were down. So I came to Saturday NYC, which is a coffee shop close by. And they have a little back area where you can actually sit down and just chat. So I caught up with one of my friends and it was just a really nice time. And you can also see the back buildings of some of the apartments, which were so cute. And I love it so much. And then after that, I just went ahead and headed down to Chinatown. This is my first time actually being around Chinatown. I usually stay in Midtown. So this was nice to see as well. Hi guys. So I'm actually headed to Vanessa's Dumpling. This was recommended by a subby, so thank you. Um, I just want something quick to eat. I'm gonna check into my hotel in a bit, but um, it's so awkward. So I'll show you guys what I get and everything. Uh, yeah. 
I don't remember what tea this was, but if I remember, I will leave it on the screen. I think it was like a citron tea or something like that. It was just kind of like orange and a little bit of lemon. It was pretty sweet, which I did like, and it lasted me all the way to the walk back to my hotel, so that was good. And then I got the chili oil for my dumplings, and I ended up getting both of them steamed. I actually wanted one of them pan fried, but they already handed it to me, so it was already too late to ask for that. I did really like them. I honestly couldn't really taste the difference between the pork or the beef, and for me, I feel like I can taste the difference when I'm at Din Tai Fung, so I know that's a chain restaurant, and I know that Vanessa's is a small business, and so I just wanted to support them, but I didn't find any significance in the dumplings, maybe because I needed them pan fried, but I should have just gotten another order, but at that point I was already full and I was actually on the phone with my mom the whole time, so I was just talking in Khmer and people were already looking at me weird because of that, so they couldn't understand what language I was speaking, and so I just wanted to hurry up and finish up my phone call and just eat, so that's what I did. Hi guys, so I'm supposed to check into my hotel right now, but their system is actually down. So I finished having lunch at Vanessa's Dumplings and it was okay. I think I'm just gonna, I'm like waiting for my phone to charge just a little bit here. I'm um, hoping that it charges fast. I was too impatient to ask the bellhop to get my bag because I think they put it like all the way downstairs. So yeah, I haven't checked out yet. I can't check out until 4, I think 4 p.m. So I gotta find some shit to do <laughs> until then. I'm staying at Nomo Soho for this end of the lake and after this i'm gonna go home on tuesday but yeah that's pretty much it i'm just waiting for my phone to charge and then i think i'm gonna go to the missouri store to go look at necklaces because i wanted to add another one for layering and then that's pretty much it so i'll see you guys um when i leave this place it's so loud the restaurant's here but yeah, that's about it I'll see you guys later Bye. Oh, okay. Oh, sorry. Oh. Um, I'm looking at these bracelets. Um, so I just looked at this bracelet. I'm in Catbird, actually. I was gonna go to Missouri, but I saw this on the way, so. I was looking at these rings. Well, I wanted to get this one. Super cute. blue in here but this is what the room looks like oh my god there's only two pillows that's very weird oh my god i don't know why i thought it was gonna be like way better i mean the bathroom's pretty big oh my god there's no mirror here what the fuck this is so weird oh my god why does this look like a motel oh my god why why does this look like that now this place looks a little old like how am i supposed to wash my face this is weird literally
I mean, the view is really nice. Where? I think this is Chinatown over there. Yeah, the city's over there. Very strange. Just why does it look old? No, I get why people don't stay here. I guess it's just the restaurant that's nice because I literally don't want to touch anything. Oh my god. Uh, uh, actually, let me wipe that down first. This is disgusting. Where are these things on the floor? Is that the marble? Oh my god, this shower looks like it's from like... Like Motel 6 or something. But it's okay, because I'm in Soho. <laughs> this is very strange. Anyway, um... So I went to a few stores today and I don't know, I just like didn't really like anything that I saw. I honestly like, I also like didn't really buy anything because I literally have no more room in my suitcase and it's so just like so annoying. So because of that, because I don't have much space, there's like literally no point in me buying anything. Like <laughs> where am I going to put it? Like I have, I literally don't have any more room. But anyway, I got a ring. I'll show you guys. I got it from Catbird. Let me just take a photo really quick. Okay. Cute paper. Just away. I just wanted the packaging just for show. Anyway, I got this ring and it's pretty small, but I got it for like a pinky ring. I just think it's really cute and I can get it engraved. You can like send it back in, so I'm probably gonna do that. So, just really tiny. I was actually looking at reviews online because I just could not believe that like it literally looks like this. It's still a little weird, but anyway, as you guys can see at the bottom floor, there used to be like a railing here. I'm assuming it was glass, but it probably broke or someone broke it or something happened. Obviously, because it's not there. So it's just very weird to me that like it's like this and I guess there used to be more pillows on the bed But probably because of covid they just took the, de the decor pillows out because of safety measures I'm assuming I don't know if they've like ever cleaned this or if they just like wipe it So the light looks like that because I just wiped it down and then so does the table looks like that because I just wiped it down um I don't know, it feels fluffy, so it's nice, but I'm gonna take a wipe up to there as well. So let me do that, I just wiped down this table. Just because like I lean against, I need to go get another pack of wet wipes. I lean against the headboard, so let's see. Like you can see dirt and everything. You can clearly tell I did not do this at the other hotel, but can you guys see that? Like you can literally see the lines. Yeah, that's dirty. And then people just grabbing onto that, that's kind of gross too. I don't know, I'm just like so disgusted right now. But the view is beautiful. So like, it just sucks that like, it's such a gorgeous view. So if you guys look closely, you can actually see the Brooklyn Bridge right there. I think that's it. And then on the other side, we have the city. Right over there. And then this is just all of Soho, like all of the buildings there. Hi guys, so I actually have not unpacked yet. Um, I just feel like the room is really dirty. The, t the toilet actually, let me show you guys. Like, I'm sorry, what? What? <laughs> that is so nasty. I didn't like really pay attention to it before because I think the seat was down. I'm just like disgusted, honestly. This is so dusty but that's like whatever whatever it's just like come on i didn't want to be like that person but honestly i just want to have a pleasant experience i want to sleep peacefully and did i show you guys this part like can you see that like what the fuck is all of this that is so disgusting i literally like cannot have a peace of mind here so I'm gonna go downstairs 
Hi guys, so they did switch me to a different room which I'm so happy about because it looks so much better. Honestly, just let them know that you're not happy with your room, send them the photos, everything that's wrong with it. I was just so confused watching the videos online of people saying that like this was a really good one because I just like didn't really get it but I, I literally just like could not lay my head there i couldn't do it um but anyway let me show you guys this one it's really gorgeous and it smelled really good upon arrival um the toilet is a very clean it smells like paris hilton's perfume glass door as you can see mullen goats and it looks great cute little sink here little mirror action here and then a full-length mirror here so cute and then this is a closet. Oh, wait. Oh, shit. I think I forgot my coat in the other one. Okay, I have to go to the other room to get my coat because I just realized I forgot it in there. But anyway, the bed. It's a bigger bed. And then this is the view. It's still really gorgeous. I mean, obviously, I can't see all of the all of the bridges anymore which kind of sucks but you know what it's fine it's okay it's a clean room and that's ultimately what i care about that's like i guess this was made like 10 years ago or something it was built 10 years ago so that's why it looks a little bit older i think like the other view obviously it's like much more of soho and this is still soho obviously because it's the same area oh this is like right by the entrance that's why i can see it it's probably going to be a little bit loud on this side but it's fine. I think it's still beautiful and I'm just happy that I have a cleaner room now because that's ultimately what my concern was. So let me head to the other room to go get my coat and then I will be back. So I actually haven't gotten room service for any of the hotels that I've stayed at. So I'm going to do it here just because I'm super hungry. And I was initially going to go out to eat. And I know you guys are going to tell me like, Jenny, go eat this New York. There's so many great places, blah, 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 blah. But honestly, I'm tired. I'm so tired. I'm actually going to dinner to a restaurant tomorrow. It's like a Korean restaurant. And... Um, you like take your shoes off and everything. I don't know that it's traditional, but I just know that like you have to do that um, I've been listening to Andrew Bell all freaking day Not me just breaking all the chairs So I'm actually editing right now I've been in my room all day and I was gonna order from Nomo kitchen is it that what it's called Nomo kitchen and they are just not answering their phone. So I was originally gonna get a margarita pizza, but that changed. And I wanted to go to Little Italy, which is a neighborhood that's like in near Soho and really didn't feel like being amongst other people. I didn't feel like dealing with that and sitting down and just waiting, like I just didn't want to do that. So I figured I would just stay in my room, order food in because sometimes you just have to do that. and. I know that people will say, Jenny, well, you're in New York, you should go out, you should have fun and all this stuff, but I'm pretty tired. I've been here for a week already and I just have a few more things to get done tomorrow and then I can go home on Tuesday, which I will be really excited about. So I just have tonight and then tomorrow night and then I'm going home and that's it. So I ordered food from this place. It's called Glazed Hen, which is pretty close to um it's like north a little bit north of greenwich so it's not too too far so i'm hoping that the food is still hot when i get it i just ordered some gochujang chicken and then i ordered it with white rice and then also just a diet coke so that's pretty much it i'm so excited to eat i'll show you guys my food of course when it comes but i'm just editing a video right now and hopefully i can have the first i have like three parts of my video i guess for my new york trip so i have like three legs to like break up so i will definitely show you guys that um when i get home i'm actually going to be home for maybe two days and then i'm headed to the beach house to go and relax a little bit because i will still be editing but i just need to be like out of the city i feel like it's just been quite a lot for me this is my email yeah so i'm just gonna get a little bit of a break luna is still with the cat sitter i'm going to get her back on saturday i believe so saturday i'll have her back and i'll be really happy to have her home with me but just for the time being i don't want her to come back home for two days and then 
have to leave again it's just not really it's not really ideal especially because she has to be like put in the cat bag and everything so she's just gonna stay with the cat sitter for the remainder of the week and then rent is also due next week so bye i hate paying for rent seriously it's so annoying really happy to have been out of la for a little bit and just kind of experience a new place i think it's just I, I feel really lucky that I can have this opportunity to do things like this, put myself out of my comfort zone and just do things on my own. So yeah, I also didn't tell you guys, I don't know if I told you guys, but I went to Catbird and I got this ring, which they said that they can actually initial, um, but I have to like send it in. So it's just a little pinky ring, which I thought was really cute. And supposedly this is a 14K gold. I'm trusting them on this one. But I think it's super cute, just really simple. And I also got some other rings from Ana Luisa. So hopefully those come in next week or by the time I'm home actually like this week. So I'll probably get them this week. But yeah, I'm just going to continue editing. I will definitely show you guys. Oh, my food's getting here soon. So it's not gonna be here until 8.18, which means that like literally 30 minutes away oh, i'm so hungry so i had vanessa's dumplings i wasn't really like a huge huge fan of it like i really wanted to love it and there were a few other places close by too that were actually packed but i chose that place because it was recommended and i feel like i don't know i just expected it to be a little bit different like i don't know i'm gonna try some places in la and i'm gonna be more open to walking because I sure as hell did a lot of walking here, so let me check. I know not today, I didn't really walk that much. I just came to Soho and then I walked around until my room was, oh shit. I walked around until my room was ready, but that was about it. So Tuesday, I took the most step. Wednesday, 7, 7.30. Thursday, over 10,000. Friday, over 10,000. Saturday, I didn't do shit, which was yesterday. What did I do yesterday? Yesterday, I don't even remember what I ate, to be honest. Oh, yesterday, I went to Jersey. That's right, so I didn't like really go anywhere. I just, dude, what did I do? Oh, I actually woke up late. Literally don't remember what I did or what I had for lunch that day. And then today I only did um, 8,000 steps. Maybe tomorrow morning I'll walk a little bit more, um, but it is going to be rainy. So I'm going to take that into consideration and not be too hard on myself tomorrow. But I am going to eat Korean food. It's like where you sit down and you have to take your shoes off and I feel like it's gonna be like kind of fancy. So I'm gonna go there and that's gonna be my last dinner in New York. And then my flight is at three on Tuesday. So I will be running to, <laughs> on that tar back to go home. I am so, so tired. Anyway, I know that I'm really lucky to like be able to like afford these things and, and just be able to be by myself and spend some time by myself and just really soak in all that new york has to offer me but i definitely feel really homesick and i've been gone for a long time and i have shit to do when i go home got bills to pay got laundry to do i really cannot wait to do my laundry like i want to get my suitcase cleaned as well because i just know like my clothes is so so disgusting like so nasty because of just like being outside like outside clothes so um, yeah i'm just really excited to uh, do laundry and all of that but anyway thank you guys for listening to my rant i know it's kind of long but i'll show you guys my food when it gets here so this is my meal this is the gochujang chicken and then i just got some white rice on the side and then i don't know if this came with it or what and then i got a coke zero and that's my meal so i'm just going to go ahead and eat and then I haven't like laid down in the bed because I haven't showered yet. So <laughs> once I do that, then I definitely will. But I'm just going to, anyway, I'm just gonna have dinner now. And I'm so excited to like not have to go anywhere or do anything or dress up, nothing. Even though I'm like not really, I'm not like dressed up, dressed up, but I could still like walk. <laughs> take some photos 
in just a simple sweater and or maybe like do an outfit with my trench coat tomorrow in soho um i'm just thinking about it i'm not gonna do it i'm just kidding i do want to but um we'll just end up seeing what happens because it's supposed to rain tomorrow but not in the morning i believe so if i just get to if i just like literally walk down the street because my hotel's no more so if i just walk down the street then i can go and get photos really quick and then literally come back to an outfit change get some more photos i just need to wake up early and i think i'm gonna wake up at like seven i want to say because i don't think people get to soho that early unless they live there but so that's the plan hopefully i will see you guys tomorrow i will try to vlog i don't know what i'm gonna do tomorrow i'm supposed to work so i will get some stuff done also i have had my classes for school and it has already started um but it's literally not that hard for me so it's been fairly simple so i am getting that done as well and it's just really exciting because i'm just one step closer to finishing so thank god um but i will see you guys tomorrow bye